God's breaking the rules tonight because how many of you know that normally you have to wait till this part of the service to get healed, but tonight Jesus healed someone before the service even started. Can you believe that? Like, what, who does God think he is? Carolyn, would you, would, you, would you come here and I'll help you up. Carolyn's friends came up to me. So there are some people that have known Carolyn for quite some time. They, they said, they told me that she's really an awesome prayer warrior. And so, Carolyn, would you just tell us, um, first of all, um, what did Jesus heal you of? My heart was going at a third of its capacity because I've had two heart attacks. I've had a third of my lungs, both. Uh, ha I had clots taking a third of my lungs. And I was told I would never, they'd never dissolve. And I've been on oxygen for I don't know so long. And... When we came in before the meeting, the presence of the Lord was here. Yes, it was. <laughs> and we didn't need to ask him. <laughs> and my friends, I didn't know we were supposed to only be prayed for by you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tell you something. I really want to be prayed for. I want you to pray for me. Because I, I have this total weakness. I, I, didn't, I don't walk up aisles like this. Is God starting to heal you right now? I'm being healed. Do you feel the, you feel the presence of God up here? <laughs> so you came in the meeting with oxygen. Yeah, my, my uh, concentrator, it's a portable one. It's under my chair. And, and, and can you bring the oxygen up here? And normally you always have to be on oxygen? Oh, 24-7. I don't know for how long. It's what would it be like if you weren't on oxygen right now? I uh, wouldn't be able to walk down that aisle. Because I asked Carolyn, how do you know that God healed you? And what did you tell me? She looked at me like I was stupid. <laughs> she looked at me like, you, you must be stupid. How do, I, how do you know? That, tell everyone, how do you know that Jesus healed you? Because when, when, when they prayed for me, my friends that brought me, we were expecting God. We were expecting to leave different than we came. <laughs> and I t after they prayed for me, I took this off, and I felt like I was breathing oxygen. I've had that on my nose for months. So wait a minute. So... So you just, you just got into the atmosphere of the meeting, and your friends who are just coming to the meeting prayed for you before the meeting even started. Is that right? Yes. And, and you've been off the oxygen the whole entire meeting? The whole entire meeting. I wouldn't walk down that aisle. I wouldn't walk down the aisle of my church to be prayed for because I couldn't walk that far. You couldn't even walk, but you just walked up here tonight. Yeah. Now, what, say, say that again. That apple wine is real. I have had it before. I have had it before. I fell down laughing. You had the apple wine before. Oh, I fell down laughing for a solid hour. <laughs> I don't even know where it was. It was in some other church somewhere. So let me ask you real quickly. Say someone's sitting out in their seat right now, and they're sitting beside someone that needs a miracle. Would you suggest that they just put their hands on them right now, and they can just get healed? Absolutely. Absolutely. 